So in this video, we've got real life examples of ball uh, rolling off the edge of a desk. And what we've used is tracking software, and there you get the fairly standard curve. Right? So if you look at those positions uh, along the way, you know, so if you compare the horizontal uh, positions of these, not drawing these terribly well, but basically if you look at those gaps, if I had drawn that accurately, they're all constant. Okay, so it's traveling the same horizontal distance in each time frame. Whereas vertically, what's happening is they're starting close together and then gradually getting further apart. And that shows us that it's speeding up it's travelling a bigger distance each time frame. Okay, so therefore it's accelerating or speeding up. And it doesn't matter how fast it's going sideways, we still get the exact same picture. These curved trajectories are made up of constant horizontal speed and vertical acceleration. So if we look at it again, but this time going a wee bit faster sideways. Okay, it's not such good quality, but at least you get the idea and it is over very quick. And once again, you can see probably a bit more clearly this time, if we looked at those gaps horizontally, they're all constant. Now it's going faster sideways, so it's traveling a bigger distance in each of those time gaps, but it's still constant. And whereas if we look at the vertical positions, it's a wee bit harder to see this because it's a bit more spread out, but they are gradually getting further apart. So it's accelerating vertically, you've got that downwards acceleration of minus 9.8 meters per second squared.